there's the front of the where it says Texas Texas National Guard OMS number 25 They got one of them cranked up over there. there. So I'll be doing all my recording from this uh, public easement here up till I get to the street and then I'll just go down the street and um, stay on the opposite side of the middle section of the road, which is presumably where the, uh, the line is. They may have a certain portion out into the middle of the road. But you know, when it comes down to it, it's like for the police to spend all that time doing all that research and trying to find out if you're on their property or you're off their property. I mean, I can understand that if you were like committing some kind of a crime and the difference in prosecuting you or not is whether or not you were technically or technically not on their property. But when you're standing there with a camera, why do cops go through all that trouble and all that hassle to try and hem you up for standing there with a camera? What does that tell you? You know, what, what self-respecting police officer does that instead of just saying hey look man i got other things to attend to there's people committing actual crimes right now openly you know crimes that hurt people okay that are hurting people right now and uh i need to respond to that this is stupid um you know i'm wasting my time here but instead they're willing to spend all this time trying to get oh is this guy on our property or not let's let's get him and it's just foolish you know so anyway that's my little spiel on that and we have contact guys that didn't take long hello I'm trying to do this slowly I don't want to ruin my shot I can help you Yes, sir. All right, be safe. Okay, thank you, man. He wanted to say something. I'm sure that's not the end of it. I'm sure that's not the end of it. That's good, though. I like, I like him stopping to think about what he's going to say and what he's going to do. That's a sign of a good officer, man. He's like, okay, am I asking too much here? And uh, am I getting into an area where I shouldn't be? My opinion that's a good officer man first of all he had a smile on his face i had already decided driving over here that i'm going to be cordial and friendly and i'm going to say only as much as i think i need to to show that i, I am being respectful but i'm at the same time doing what i have a right to do these guys are in a huddle here all right guys we should be good we got the armor there they are again, man. Look at them suckers. That's an army right there. Those are soldiers. They're guarding the entrance and the exit. Sentries taking care of that queen. She can lay eggs. Repopulate the species. It looks like a law enforcement vehicle. Maybe it is. Oh, it is. It's Constable. Oh, and there's a city bus. Look at that. Is this a bus route? That's even better. Ed Couch Elsa. Man, Ed's couch has been out there so long they named a town after it. Pretty cool, Ed. Some people just throw away their old porn VHS tapes from back in the past. I guess this guy didn't know about that trick. He decided to just rip out the guts and throw it down. Maybe he had a hard time throwing it away. He kept going back to the trash to fix it out. Let's see if we can see the title. <laughs> you guys know what this is? That's why I'm laughing and coughing. You know what this is right here? This is a dirty movie. 
that's a dirty movie right there. You know for sure it's dirty. Just look at all the dirt on it. <laughs> Someone ripped the guts out of a dirty movie right here, man. Look, you can see right there. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> oh, my God. These jokes. Outrageous. At least I get a kick out of them. Uh, this is the Resaca, you guys. I've tried to describe this to people before. And I've just described it as like a creek or a waterbed or a... It has something to do with, with the water system. It, 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 it's like a drain off or something like that from the waterway. But look, we actually have wildlife back here. Check it out. Is that an egret? That sucker. There he goes. Ugh. Was not expecting him to take off flying. Oh, he didn't. He just jumped up on the top to be safe. In this day and age, here's a line of military vehicles right there, some trailers, whatever those things are called. Military hardware. This has to be post-harvest because uh, it looks pretty torn up and dry. I don't think there's anything planted in there right now. Well, so far no orange vest heroes, you guys. So good job on that, Texas. People seem to stay in their own lane. There was a lady at the Brownsville police station yesterday who demanded to know what I was recording and when I didn't answer she said, okay, I'm going to call the cops. She went in and told the cop and I could literally see her educating, him educating her through the window. <clears throat> and uh, she got in her car and left and I just waved at her as she drove away. But uh, yeah, so far no orange vest heroes. I appreciate that. People in the orange vests are doing what they're supposed to do in their orange vests, which is be orange. They're not trying to do a, they're not pulling a John, John at the recycling plant, run up and get in someone's face within a half inch, like as if they're John McClain. So ridiculous. What the hell was wrong with that guy? Unbelievable, man. The children we employ. <sighs> so yeah, they're not doing that so far. I know I usually jinx myself when I say stuff like that, but it seems to actually be happening today. I mean, what I'm saying is, it seems to actually be the case, so that's good. I'm about to head over to the uh, Public Safety Building and Border Patrol Station right after this, so stay tuned. I just wanted to give it one last chance here and make sure that... Oh man, we got an incursion! We got an incursion, look at this dog! Oh, you stupid camera, I'm so mad at you right now. I could just spit nails. Look at that guy. He has broken protocol. Now he's about to deposit some top secret waste on this base here. Darn it. Maybe this dog is trained. Maybe he's picking up something that was left there by someone. Secret. Weekend Warrior. Da, 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 da. Guys, that cop just drove by again, the one I spoke to, and waved at me, and I gave him a thumbs up. Man, that just, oh. Police take note. That guy is my hero. He's not using his ego to do his job with. He understands his boundaries, man. And I've got contact coming out now. These two guys here are gonna to talk to me because the girl that turned and looked at me burned me. Oh, there's the stare down, you guys. There's the stare down. Well, I'm giving my little speech about the cop. Hopefully he's the one that responds because he's an oath keeper. Not too sure about these guys. But definitely the cop is. We're having a little meeting. Talking about this guy right now. We want to know if he's Al-Qaeda Because we like to crap our pants. It's exciting! Well, they got plenty of clean underwear, so why not? I 
I knew she said something. And I had a feeling they didn't know I was here. Oh, this is going to be a long walk of shame, guys. Long walk of shame. This is going to be the longest walk of shame they've ever done. I don't want to talk to these guys. Nothing good's going to come out of it. I'm going to go live, guys. The rest will be on my on my phone. No, I totally get it. I totally get it. Of course, of course. Yeah. Of course, you have to respond to every call. No, I, I get it. And I just uh, I just got through saying on my video that um, that I get it. There's actually been a couple of attacks lately right now on military base. And then there was some kind of law enforcement thing in New Jersey, I think. Yeah. So I said, these guys have every right to be on edge. But I appreciate the fact that they're being professional. Yeah. There was a there was a constable that drove by. He, he talked to me. He just gave me thumbs up and drove by again later and waved me again. That was awesome. So yeah, yeah. We, we like to call out officers that you know that are professional despite the situation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I was telling him, I don't ID. I'm sorry, I haven't broken any laws. Yeah. You know, I know you haven't asked me for ID yet, but um, but I did give him the name of my YouTube channel if you if you want to get it from him. Already have a YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the, what's the channel? Uh, I gave it to him. It's just a camera. It's just a yes, camera. camera. It's just a camera. Yeah. Oh, it's just a camera. Nice. And it is just a camera. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Yeah. yeah so. So that's it. So you guys may get some more calls. Just I, I know that doesn't mean that I'm cool just because I talk to you guys. Um, I know you're. I know you're gonna. Are you gonna be in town for a good while? No, I'm actually flying out today. Yeah, I'm done. Where are you from? Seattle. 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 Yeah. My channel's in Seattle. You were gonna be in town. I was gonna give you an invitation to a okay. event we're having. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Well, what time is it? Uh, it's a Saturday. Yeah, I know. No, my flight leaves at six today, so okay. so I'm out. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it though. A live event we're having. Okay. Okay. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, yeah. No, just be careful. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, I'm being very careful. If there's not a marked crosswalk, do you just kind of do the best you can? Because there's not a lot of crosswalks yeah, here. I noticed that. Around here, like you kind of see it's not painted very. Yeah, well. you just got to kind of do the best you can. Yeah. And then just FYI, on the military base, I made sure that I stayed on the public easement. Yeah. Basically, whatever the state maintains, that's where I stayed. Yeah. As long as I, I, yeah, I never went into their property at all. So. And they actually, I think they're actually the ones that called it because they're not used to. Seeing of course, I understand. The yeah, and I stuck around a little bit longer because there was a young lady who got out of her car. She went in, and that's when two of the soldiers came out and spoke to me. Uh, so I figured there'd be some kind of contact. They just said, how you doing? You need any help? I said, you got any coffee and donuts? And they said no. So uh, I told them what I was doing, and it's an audit. And uh, they said, okay, man, we're just making sure you're all right. And they went back in. So that was yeah, a good, that's that's a good response, doing. man. That's good. That's, that's considered a pass. So it's, it's good. That's good. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, okay. All right, sir. Everybody. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Have appreciate it. One. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks, sir. Right. Be safe. Thank you. Uh, let's see. All right, guys. So, this is the uh, West Lego Public Safety Building. And it houses, uh, it seems like, I don't know if it's the whole West Lego Police Department here or if it's just specific units. But uh, I know those officers, are, uh, and next door is the Border Patrol. That's where we're going next. But uh, I noticed it off. <laughs> Oh, no, I was going to say, I know that the two guys I spoke to went and told everybody. Um, I kind of gave them a bit of a heads up. I was talking about it in the video walking back over here. Uh, because this supervisor looking guy just came out and yelled at me. He said, hey. And when I looked, he said, good morning. And I said, good morning. <laughs> and I'm just laughing because I know that's what happened. I know that uh, those guys told him that I'd be here and he's... Uh, he realizes it's a chance to be in the media, um, being friendly. So the crazy thing is they've already been friendly without that needing to happen. So I just think it's, I don't know, it's interesting. I'm kind of just, the world's a playground, man. That's all I can say. The world is my playground. And uh, there's different ways to do things, different strokes, different approaches. And for whatever reason today, I've chosen this. There's a part of me that feels kind of disappointed in myself like I wasn't enough of a jerk to the cops I should have waited for them to respond instead I flagged one of them down because I thought it was the guy that had been nice to me which really motivated me to just be like kind of forthcoming with him you know what I mean and uh, that translated into my conduct with the uh, with the two officers who uh, who ended up contacting me but anyway I'll say that uh, yeah this guy just waved at me and said hi so I'm gonna go on in here and uh, record some uh, some public areas <laughs> Uh, that truck just uh, honked his horn. Oh, so these guys are... Uh... So here's, here's what I was saying in one of my other videos, you guys, about the federal government paying for a lot of this uh, equipment these guys get. Check this out. Will you look at that? 
What do you think about that Auburn cop, Beardy McBeardster, telling me that only the Auburn city uh, residents pay your taxes and they're the ones you're thankful to, but anyone else can go suck an egg. That's pretty much what you were telling me when you asked me if I lived here. Court lobby only, what's the go public safety building, municipal court. No smoking within 20 feet. There must not be court today. Either that or this is just a, oh no, there's people in there. This must just be a very dark, dank place to work. Jeez. Get some light in there, people. How depressing. Let me get this sign right here. <laughs> yeah, how many times does a police sergeant drive by someone with a camera who they don't know and just yell out, hey! Good morning. <laughs> I wasn't recording, guys, obviously, because I was literally just walking down the street. But what does that tell you? <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. I, I find that more entertaining than like a negative reaction. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just trying to justify why I was so nice to those guys. But I, I'm just, it just cracks me up. That's all. She got a warning, guys. Sorry I wasn't recording. My stupid phone tricked me again. I thought it was recording, and it was, and so I had to press record. But he gave me a thumbs up. I gave him a thumbs up back. Thumbs up back. I guess he gave her a warning. That's uh, vehicle SG. He's a sergeant. 684. Plates. Uh, I couldn't see the plates anymore. It'll be on the video. Yeah, just doing a little police watching, a little cop watching. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Just... Yeah, you will. It's good though. I think you gave her a warning. Oh, you gave her a ticket? Yeah. That was fast. Well, you get credit for giving for doing it fast. I thought you gave her a warning, so. Oh well. Is it going to be a good video or is he going to be talking bad about us? It's up, it's up to how you guys act. If you act cool, we're always cool. We like to point out good officers. Uh, if you guys act up, then uh, that goes on there too. But it, it, You're recording me right now, right? I'm recording right now, of course. <laughs> I don't give my name. Oh, you don't give yeah, yeah. Name, uh, of course not. Uh, you from Moscow? Uh, I'm from Seattle. Oh wow! I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, I have family that lives close by. Oh man, you know we're gonna kick your butt in that Seattle Dallas thing. If oh, we, you're right. If we, if we can make you're right. No, you're right. If we can make no, you're right. You're right. That's right. I'll give you credit for that. Uh, uh, it's called it's. What's that? Seattle doing good this year. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. Uh, I'm not a huge football fan, but everybody I know up there, they're big fans. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, my, my channel is called It's Just a Camera. Just there's, a camera. there's some intel for you if you want to look me up. It's just a camera. You know, you know just as good as I do, it's not always the positive stuff that makes the news, man. But, uh, but when we do catch it on, 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 a record, on a video, we do point it out. We, do, we definitely do that for you guys. It just cracks me up. Hey! Good morning! <laughs> All right, I'll go, pa I'll go past this other entrance and then uh, slips right into Border Patrol, so we're gonna go from one to the next. Yeah, let's give it a try, why not? Let's do some Auditing America style stuff. Oh. Oh, hello, ma'am. I'm just recording some public information. Okay. Thank you so much. But no, I don't have any questions or anything. Okay. What's your name? My name is Rosa. What do you do here? Are you the court uh, clerk? I'm clerk? the court administrator. Court, oh, I was going to say that first. I was going to say, are you the court administrator? Man, I went with clerk. Okay. <laughs> well, nice to meet you. I'm just taking some public uh, pictures okay. of like where our tax dollars go, etc. So... I just, What's your name? It, it's a YouTube channel. It's just a camera. YouTube, it's like a, like a, like a um, independent journalism. Okay. 
and it's called. Oh, I don't give my name. I just give my YouTube channel. It's just a camera. Yeah. It's if you ever go on YouTube. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you're too busy working, right? The only thing I noticed, it seems a little bit dark from the outside. I thought it was closed. Well, this is just a municipal court. Okay, okay. The on the other side. Yeah, I'm going to go there next. I'm going there next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but just looking in the window, I thought you guys were closed. It looks darker from the outside than it. Once I come in, it's a little brighter. But I was like, man, they need to open the windows or something, let some light in. That's kind of sad. They want to close this window for us because of security. Oh, they want to close it completely? Here, this area. Oh. Yeah. Because of tell them. Tell him, tell him you prefer light over extreme security. There, there's a quote by Benjamin Franklin. He said, uh, those that are willing to give up liberty for security deserve neither one. So he's basically saying, it's basically saying it's scary to live in America because we're free and we have to just live with that fear. It's unfortunate because if you just like seal yourself up in a bulletproof case 24 hours a day, that's, that's not freedom at all. Now we're living in North Korea. Anyway. I'll let you get back to work. I don't want to stand here preaching all day. But I appreciate you, ladies. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, take care. Hey, keep this window here. Don't let them take it away. Thanks, Auditing America. I owe that to you, bud. Normally, that's not my style, but it worked out. It's just because I'm afraid I'm going to end up giving up too much information. I'm too soft. I'm too much of a softy. I'm a softy. Too much of a softy. All that time in Seattle has softened me up. So this is the city police, jail, records, and lobby. What would I need from here? Uh, let's just record public information if we can. Is my zipper down? I hope not. Oh. Hello. I'm just gonna record some of the posters. I'm just gonna record some of the public information, the posters. Just myself. Ooh, it smells bleachy in here. Doing some deep cleaning. because they have a lot of hurricanes down here. Did I say hurricanes or tornadoes? Hurricanes. Maybe tornadoes too. Oh. Man. Don't drink and drive, I guess, is the message there. I just want to know uh, if you could tell me your name and what you do here. What is the name that you need? Just, I'm just documenting public information for public, uh, for public record, that's all. Okay, it's, uh, for, for, for what? Like Maria, and for customer service? Yes. For the court, for the court, okay. Oh, for the police department or for the, for the police department? Next, the court is next. I went there first. I talked to the ladies over there, yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Man, I'm already enjoying a little bit of celebrity down here. Look at that. What do you think of that? Cameras everywhere. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh shoot, I don't want to go past that sign. Uh, let me stay in the roadway here. Don't want to get caught slipping. Careful, careful, careful. That's a weak sign. You could make that on the internet. Patrol. You can do better than that. You know you just ordered that from a catalog or on eBay. This is our last stop and then it's all over. Last audit. This is going to be a good one. Border Patrol Station, you guys. U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Hey, I see a gate closing. Interesting. That gate wasn't closed when I got here. No, it was not. I was thinking about this yesterday. 
There is nothing that scares government more than accountability. If a guy did go in with a machine gun, they'd be less afraid of that than they are of accountability. Nothing terrifies a government agent, a government worker, a public employee more than accountability. That will make them, I mean, it just, like I said, you can run in there and yell Allah Akbar and they'll just jump into action. But when you demand accountability and you start asking questions, oh my God, oh, it just starts sliding down their leg. It's automatic. They have no control over it. It just starts sliding down their leg. And so, yeah. Uh oh Let the fear kick in. The fear is beginning already. park right up along the fence with their license plates clearly visible with for people with cameras that actually focus but then we're not supposed to record license plates you know what I mean come on guys and then we got all these people out here parking out in this parking lot are these employees I'd like to record that sign but I'd be going on the property and I already know I'm not welcome because I've got a camera in my hand so that's a public entrance I can tell that right now but I have no intention of going in there. I'm gonna record the front of it though. Who knows? There went the sergeant that waved at me earlier. They're next to some kind of, they're next to Dan Hill containers. That's funny. What do they what do they traditionally find uh, contraband in people being smuggled in containers? And then here we have uh, Dan Hill containers right next door. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see through that fence, but there's a whole fleet of border patrol vehicles all the way through. I don't think you can see through it. I think it's obscured. I don't think the camera's lens is able to to do what the human eye can when looking through a fence. And I don't want to raise the camera up over the fence. It's that's that's uh that's sloppy that's not classy at all we got a west Lego police unit standing by keeping an eye on me the road a ways. I just had contact you guys by um, a military person. Uh, I didn't record it because my camera had stopped. It does this stupid thing where it stops on its own after like 10 minutes. Apparently I had reached that 10 minute threshold and it uh, stopped. She came out and asked um, if I needed help, of course, also known as, can I shoot your face in? And then, am I with the news media? And then she turned around and was grabbing her phone as she went in. And then shortly afterwards, I saw the West Lego police car go by. So clearly she called, I believe. And um, I don't know what they told her, but I'm gonna stick around for another few minutes, uh, see what happens, and then I'm wrapping it up. I don't know what time it is. I'm trying to see my watch. It's not, it's just giving me messages. I can't see the time because it's a smart watch. So it's acting dumb. <clears throat> Might have worked in my favor that I spoke to those cops a little bit because um, they're going to be the ones responding out here and they already know my channel and they know what's going on. So, hey, why not? You know, why not? My reign of terror has ended. Unless I use my phone, I can't record anymore. This is it battery's giving me the the low battery warning so all right thanks texas it's been real it's been fun it has been real so catch you on the flip side see you back in seattle america